I went online and just the way everyone does anything anymore and did reviews of different real estate companies and this was one that kept appearing with good ratings and, and recommendations and so I called and then they put me in touch with, uh, with Matthew and he started sending us listings so we would get a sense of the market. You know, we, we really try to educate and advise our clients uh, as, so they can make the best decisions for them and themselves. Right, because that's where it is, and, and there's a lot of challenges in this market today. And knowing why there's challenges is going to help them navigate and understand what they're going through. So we went ahead and put our house on the market, and that ho our house sold in four days. And so we called Matthew, like, okay, now we're on the speed mode here. And we flew in in February, and we spent three days looking. And but Matthew was was very. Uh, responsive. He would always uh, return phone calls and we stayed in touch email wise and we would give him more information about what we were looking for and uh, so we were very pleased with the communication. We, we had good communication with him and he was, uh, he was very responsive to us and, and seemed to understand exactly what we wanted and what we were looking for because we were pretty specific and it worked out very well and we were very happy. And his enthusiasm. Yeah. He was right. very enthusiastic. You know, we can do this, this isn't going to be a problem, we're going to find you a great home. So very reassuring. The process was an excellent one because uh, we looked at um, not just having Matthew, although he was responsible, but the team concept worked because there was one backup and there was always someone there that said they also had an interest in making sure we were happy with, with Remax and there was a comfort. Uh, so I was very pleased with that. And actually, this is the tenth house we've bought over the years that we've been married. So, and I would, I would guess that this is prob this was probably the easiest. Yeah, I wouldn't guess.